Welcome back in old school video. And is it going to change? Is it going to stay the same? Let's go over the 19X. What's going on, guys? I hope all you are doing great. So for my original, my OG subscribers out there that have stuck with me when I had like 100. Um, don't have a lot now, but my original people that probably saw this. I've already done a review of the 19X. Um, and I labeled that because I got this when it first came out within the first month. I, I labeled it the most hated gun on the internet. Because when this thing came out, holy hell, people backed the shit out of that. Um, did my review on it. And I had quite a bit of rounds through it then. But that video got, that was my most viewed video. And I've had people reach up to me lately and say, how's the 19X doing? I've had people up the last year saying that, oh, it's doing good, it's doing good. But more and more people have asked me about the 19X or say a 45. I don't have a 45, I'm gonna get one soon, which is the exact same thing pretty much as this. That This was for the military, the 45 was for law enforcement, which a lot of law enforcement agencies switch to. And I'll be picking one up just because it's another Glock, it's another gun, and it's black. I like my FD, but I want to have both. So, let's get into why am I doing a review. Told you, and I have a lot more rounds for this now than I did in the first review. So, I am pushing a little over or right at, I've, I've kept count every time I shoot this gun at the range, um, kind of keep track, write it down, how much I've shot. And I'm a little below 10,000 rounds. So, this is my 10,000 round review of the 19X. When you watch that video before, I absolutely love this gun. That has not changed. Something that I find myself doing quite a bit, and right when you do it, if you've done it before, you know the feeling. You buy a gun, you love it for a couple days, maybe a week, and you get burnt, and you wanna get another one. But if you don't have the funds, what do you do? You end up selling one. I have sold many firearms that I absolutely regret to this day. And it was to get other stuff and then say, I get the other thing that I sell to get another gun. Um, I have my set ones that I will never sell. And that's the actual pistol right now compared to all the pistols I have right now. This has been with me the longest now because I've got rid of everything else. And there was not one thought in my mind getting rid of my 19X. And there's a reason why. When I go to the range, I have a new firearm. I did an overview and there's a review coming video coming out soon. The Shadow Systems MR920 Elite. I labeled that in my video that that hands down is my favorite shooting pistol right now. Yes, that is correct. But the most one I always saw myself shooting now and the most is my 19X. This gun is just fun to me. This is easy to get on target. I love how they have the 17 frame and the 19 slide. Absolutely love that. The gun was hated when it first came out because people want it reversed. They want the 17 slide. That right yeah the 17 slide with the 19 frame i like that too maybe Glock will do that i mean how that video came out a long time ago three four years ago and i saw it done it but they have made the 43x and the 48s and the 45s and all that stuff so the 19x is just it's a gun that i always go back to after 10,000 rounds, I've only had a couple failure feeds. The only thing I've ever had wrong with this gun. And I have shot anything and everything kind of ammo and brands out there. But I always run back to this. I'll just go in the range and shoot. Um, just work on a little bit more consistency or accuracy or draws or just doing drills, whatever. It's always the 19X that is my go-to. It's just I know it's, I'm going to rely on it. I have a 19. I have the MR920. I have my SIGs, my HKs. But this just still, I run anything better. Any kind of drills, any kind of just slow um, drawing out, punching out, shooting around or two with speed. It's just one of those guns that can do it all. And that's why I'll be getting a 45. This is not going to be retired, but I mean, you never know. One in each hand. I don't know. But it's just something about this. It's just I just wanted to bring this video back is because I still to this day do not know why people hated the hell out of this gun. Um, I, don't, I made a video, when I made the first video of that, um, I had so many comments that people say, because I made a comment in there, 
I was just shooting. I didn't look up much of the research on the gun. I just bought it. Thought it looked cool. It was a Glock. It was something new. It was the 19X. Was I made a comment that I was going to sand this off. And I still get comments to this day. Like, no, 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 don't sand it off. You know that can be removed. Guys, I know this. The people that keep commenting, I do know this. I knew that like the, after the first couple days I posted it. And people were like, oh, I knew that. Now, um, I'm leaving it. It's, it don't bother me at all. I figured I would change it out, but I never did. It's, it's, I always forget, to be honest, it's there. Um, moving on, something. The 19X or any Gen 5 Glocks. And like that, that Glock has really, really outdone themselves for me is they've never had bad triggers. Glocks have always been okay triggers. They're not great. They're not bad. They're decent. For After 10,000 rounds, the only thing that I've changed to this, no, I was going to do an RMR, decided not to, or SRO. Um, I added a cheaper Olight PL2 Valkyrie. Um, I was going to get a Surefire, but those Olights do sales like, every month of three months. I just threw it on there to match the color a little bit, like the 50 shades of FDE, like the scar. Um, I like the Olight. It's good. Is it my favorite? No, but I do like it better in Streamlight. So all you Streamlight people out there, you're probably pissed Hit the thumbs down button right now as we speak. Comment as we're, I'm talking to you right now. That's cool. It's my personal opinions. That's what my videos are. Just like you have your personal opinions on this, I have it on that. That's why I do reviews. It's what I like, not not doing the review for you. So I love the Olight. Um, I've had issues with Streamlight and Enforce. That is why I like Enforce better than Streamlight. But I've had ed issues with those. I've never had an issue with Olights or Surefire. Surefire would be my favorite. So going back to talking about what Glock outdid themselves with. When they made the Gen 5s and 19Xs and stuff, their trigger change. I'm a person that's the first thing I do is sights and a trigger. I've not changed the stock factory Glock night sights. And after 10,000 rounds for having this for years, I've never changed this trigger. And right out of the box, it was decent. But with the more and more and more rounds you shoot through this gun, this trigger does not need an aftermarket trigger. So any Gen 5 or up Glocks, when the new ones come out, hopefully they're the same. I will never replace these triggers. These triggers are smooth now. Glock did great with the Gen 5 triggers. Um, I said RMR, I never did. Just because if I'm already shooting this thing good, I mean, yes, people say if it's already doing good, you can make it great. Yes, I do believe in that saying, but for this, I don't, I really don't need it. I have my MR920, I have my other stuff, my other pistols that have RMRs and SROs on them. I don't need it. And this is one that I just want to be my original OG gun, besides the light that I threw on there. And I threw that on there like a year after I had it. So what people that ask me, where's the 19X been? I've all, I keep shooting it. It goes with me in the range all the time. What was the purpose behind this, or what is its purpose now? We all have our purpose guns, like our trunk guns, our go bag guns, EDC guns, range guns, whatever you want to call them. This is my designated nightstand gun. Um, I may do like a nightstand setup. It's really not that much, guys. You want to see a picture of me and my fiance, a candle and phone charger, watch charger, all that stuff. I keep this in another mag. That's really all I have. I keep uh, the 19 round mag in there. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that video yet just cause it's not gonna be really a lot about guns and gear. But that, this found its category, it's, its purpose is for my designated nightstand gun. If I'm sleeping, let my dog out at night, hear something, what's going on. This is always what I grab. I do have my MPX beside me too, but this is just, this is great. I mean, 17 to 19 rail mags, plus they got more and stuff now that are a lot more, holders more capacity. I'm not gonna label this designated nightstand gun, but damn, guys, why did y'all start hating on the 19X when it came out and you did not even damn shoot it? And now I've seen a lot of people that talk shit about it. They love it. Don't be a hypocrite. How can you talk about something unless you have tested or used it. Um, we've all said it, like, oh, I ain't, 
like when the SRO came out. I absolutely hated that, or the Aimpoint Acura. Oh, I have, I'm getting an SRO, or I'm getting an aim, uh, Acura. I thought it was like a mailbox, and now I'm like, damn, you look at it in person, mess with it, you're like, this looks pretty good. See some videos on it, so don't jump to conclusions when something first comes out. So with internals and everything, I have not had to replace anything. Um, I did notice my front sight came a little loose. That was that was right at, that was recently. Uh, that was the only thing that came loose. Nothing on the inside is messed up. Barrel is still holding the marks, the Gen 5 marks and barrels are still holding up like a champ. Um, the finish, but so this finish is not wore or tore that much for 10,000 rounds. Um, so I've not changed anything after 10,000 rounds on this testimony. So guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I just figured it'd be cool to bring back an OG video and throwback old school, whatever you guys want to call it, because this has still been getting questions about to this day, and it's been out for quite some time now. Because as I said, thanks again. If you can, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already, and hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos. And also, guys, if you have any inputs or anything, or if you still want to get in there and talk shit about the 19X, whatever you guys, you know the comment section is open for the public. And that's my favorite thing about videos is reading all your guys' comments. But guys, if you want to help the channel a little bit more, but you do not have to, I'll leave a link down on my Patreon account. It helps me with videos and ammo and just filming more content for you guys. I'll also leave a link down on my Instagram account down below. Um, got more pictures and stuff, and I'll reply a little bit quicker. I'll still reply to you in here, but Instagram is usual within seconds because I'm always on it. But guys, I appreciate it. And as always, y'all have a good one.